know in the deep there's adventure and danger. That's where you'll find Oliver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. The ocean floor is unknown to man, except to our hero, the brave diver Dan. He's searching the depths of the seven seas. Now you may share in these strange mysteries. Quiet, you idiot. And how it made everyone's dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> Captain! Captain! What's the matter, Dan? When you shut off the radio or whatever it is that's coming through on the intercom, it's very distracting. What radio? We don't have a radio on. And what are all those voices? What voices? It's quiet up here. All I hear on the intercom is your voice. Oh, boy, that was great. What's going on here? I, I know I hear voices. And that's someone singing. But at the bottom of the sea? Maybe I've been diving too long. It seems to be coming from over there. Hi there, Georgie Porgy. Well, Felly, what's new? <laughs> I was just on my way to visit the mermaid. Minerva? Yep. She promised to sing us a song. Oh, great. Well, come along. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Well, I heard a squeak. And so did I. Well, bless my gill and fins. A new fish. And a cute one. Oh, she's scared. Well, come on now, pretty little fish. We won't harm you. I'm Finley the Hatter. And this is Georgie, the porter. Here comes Doc Sturgeon. Oh, good. Hey, Doc. Yeah? Oh, Finley. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> well, I hope. Doc, look what we found. A cute little fish, right as a coin. Well, bless my scales. <laughs> How cute. Wherever did she come from? We don't know. Oh, she's scared. <laughs> well, now, boys, on the basis of medical and physiological evidence, I diagnose her as a stranger to the reef. Is that good or bad? Georgie, you go tell Miss Minerva. If she agrees, we'll bring the pretty little fish to her. Right now, Finley. Yes, Finley, this little fish will require special care. She's not used to the life in the deep. Enemies like the bad Baron Barracuda would... Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll guard her until Georgie can ask the mermaid whether... Hey, Georgie is coming back. Something wrong? I don't know. The strangest thing. What? A hard, round lump of water. Eh? What do you mean? A lump of hard water. You can't swim through it. Hard water? Swim up. See for yourself. Let's go. Why, I must be losing my mind. Those are voices I hear. Diver Dan! Diver Dan, this is the captain. What are you mumbling about? I... I think I hear voices, Captain. One of them is singing. Dan, the pressure must be getting you. Prepare to surface. No, not yet. I've got to find out where those voices are coming from. See? It's a round lump of hard water, like I said. <laughs> that bright little fish is unprotected, Trigger. Yeah, boy. Don't call me, boss. I'm Baron Barracuda. Oh, you sure are, boss. Then call me Baron, you fool. Oh, okay, Baron, you fool. I see our chance to grab that new little fish. Now, when I give the signal... 
Maybe I... I am losing my mind. Where are those voices coming from? Cyber Dan, prepare to ascend. No, no. That's an order, Dan. We have a lot of work to do in this part of the ocean. This is a scientific expedition. But, Captain... I told you it's an order. Yes, sir. We're standing by. Give a signal when you're all clear. All clear. <laughs> well, what was that all about, boy? Well, boys, I don't think it's water at all. It's not even ice. It's something that is called glass. Glass, huh? What does it do? Careful now. What's that? It's Goldie. The Baron. We've got to save her. Come on, men. Whoops. Ouch. You knocked it off the ledge. Way down deep, three friendly fish saw a round glass bowl. A frightened goldfish hides in a coral hole. The friendly fish would go all out to help the pretty stranger. How can the bowl they found protect her from her danger? He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing, keep flashing, jaws clapping, been slapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the way. That's where you'll find Iver Dan.